About a dozen people have reportedly been injured in clashes with riot police outside the US Embassy in Athens following mass protests marking the 1973 revolt against the US-backed military junta, in which 40,000 people took part. Over 70 arrests from various parts of Athens were made after clashes broke out following the mass march, according to social media sources. Police fired tear gas at groups of youths who hurled stones and plastic bottles while burning US and AU flags. Ukrainian artillery and military rocket launcher systems Grad fired city Donetsk again yesterday. Residential buildings and school number 71 were damaged. The European Union begins to understand that Kyiv is not implementing reforms it has promised to conduct, Russia's permanent representative at the European Union Vladimir Chizhov said on Monday. Obviously, they are aware that no reforms are being implemented in the Ukrainian capital, including those reforms Kyiv promised the European Union, Chizhov said, commenting on the meeting's resolution. The Russia's permanent representative to the OSCE, Andrei Kelin, dismissed media reports that the OSCE mission to Ukraine includes mostly Russian intelligence personnel. We know that a campaign has recently been launched in Ukraine against the OSCE mission. It is accused of working for Russia. They cite completely ridiculous figures. They write in the media that 80% of the mission's staff are Russian, even intelligence workers. This is nonsense, Kelin stated Monday in an interview with the Russia24 TV channel. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive up-to-date news on situation in Ukraine.